Welcome to Electro Online, and here's another example of how to find the limit of a function. And again, by inspection, right away, when you allow x to approach negative 4, and you look at the denominator, negative 4 plus 4 gives you a zero denominator. Regardless of what you get in the numerator, that is a problem, so therefore we cannot find the limit in this fashion. Also, you look at that and you realize there's no factoring, no simplification. So in this case, I think the only method is to go ahead and find the value of the function as you let x approach negative 4 slowly. So what we can do is we can set up a table of values, x and the function of x, realizing, of course, that the function of x is equal to the square root of x squared plus 9 minus 5, all divided by x plus 4. And so let's plug in some, some values for x and see what the corresponding values for y are. And so let's start at minus 5. We'll approach it from the left. If x is minus 5, what would f of x be equal to? So minus 5 squared is 25 plus 9 is 34. So it's the square root of 34. Minus 5. Divide by minus 5 plus 4, which is minus 1. So we get a minus 0.831. All right, let's try minus 4.5. So 4.5 squared plus 9, take the square root, subtract 5 from that, and then divide by negative 4.5 plus 4, which is divide by a negative 0.5, and so we get minus 0 0.8166, All right, still no good idea of what this is going to converge to. So continue, how about minus 4.1? If x goes to negative 4.1, what does y become or what does the function become? So 4.1 squared plus 9, take the square root, subtract 5 from that, and then divide that by uh, negative 4.1 plus 4, which is divide by a negative 0.1, and we get negative 0.8035, 8035. I'm beginning to suspect that the limit may be negative 0.8. So let's continue to see what we get. So how about negative 4.01? All right, so 4.01 squared plus 9. Take the square root, subtract 5 from that, and divide by 0 0.01 negative equals. And so now we get negative 0.8004, 8004354. Oh, and so you can see that sure enough, if this goes to negative 4, I bet you that this will go to negative 0 0.8. So this then becomes the limit of this function as x approaches negative 4. So you can see that when all else fails and you can't find a way to simplify the function, go ahead and grab a table of values, plug in some values for x as it approaches the limiting value, and then you get the limit of that function. And that's how we do that.